Space a logo in Illustrator is very important, especially when you want to print your logo and you have a low res of uh, your uh, graphic for the um, logo, or you need uh, your logo to be recreated. Uh, I have here uh, a Maytag logo. Um, as you can see, this is plain image. When you zoom in, you can see the jacked part b uh, becomes. So if you if you were about to print uh, this image, you will see uh, a lot of jacked parts, especially if you're printing at um, something that, uh, that is uh, very large. So uh, to resolve this problem, you need to uh, trace this logo in uh, uh, Adobe Illustrator. So um, I will create a new document. We'll insert the Maytag uh, logo to the ins inside, and um, we'll click the logo and uh, open my layer palette, and uh, uh, lock this layer so I don't move it accidentally. Uh, now uh, zoom in as much as possible, and um, grab your pen tool uh, for the color of this uh, logo. Just get the eyedropper tool and click on it so we now have the uh, color here now go back to your path tool this is a fill this is a stroke so uh, flip in between we need we don't need a fill we'll need the stroke uh, so we can see where we are drawing and lastly we'll uh, reverse the order so uh, uh, go deep and start tracing click click uh, uh, you should be um, looking exactly what's happening I might, I might not spend a lot of time on this but you, if you know if you need a good result you will need to spend a very long time on this so uh, I don't know if you use the pen tool but it's very um, useful and uh, very easy to use so click and drag to uh, you when you click and drag you get the bezier handles you you can adjust the uh, these handles by clicking control while you're in the creation mode. So um, going deep. Notice I'm 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 drawing around around the uh, the shape that I have, and uh, I will follow this path. I will start from here, going this way, and I will um, uh, go on this shape. Then going down, up, here, here, and uh, we will remain the uh, this part uh, that we're gonna make uh, uh, by itself. Each logo has uh, has rules on how to create it, so uh, there is no specific rule. Uh, you can create it uh, the way you you think it's better. To get a horizontal straight line, uh, click the uh, where you want to get your uh, next uh, path, and hold down Shift and click. This will make a, st a very smooth line. As you can see, I, I don't have this uh, uh, very straight because uh, I'm not spending a lot, of, a lot of time on this. But you need to get it uh, as much close as possible. So holding down control and click. and um, well and uh, I don't
don't know if you're following me, but uh, what I've done so far is this area, right? So here and going down, up. So we are here and um, last few steps. So uh, when we are close to finish, click on the starting point and the path will be closed. Now, I don't know if you see this, but I have a stroke around the image. This is a stroke. I will keep it for now. Now for the inside, I will create another path starting from here. the way down so um, and closing it so um, so now we have two paths I will select the first one, hold shift and select the other one. I will move them down. So here's our shape. What I'm gonna do now, you see this in the middle, I will uh, double click this and select white. And uh, we'll make the fill white, the fill itself and not, not the stroke. You can't see this now because we, we are in a white uh, on a white document so just reverse the order from here and lastly click your path your other path and you see this uh, swap so swap fill and stroke and this is it so uh, we have a trace logo of the metag logo now and uh, the benefit of this in illustrator uh, is you can click uh, like this and you can uh, you can make it as large as you want for printing so it will always uh, stays of a good quality and will be ready to printing uh, again you don't you don't you have to spend a lot more time on this uh, i made this uh, quickly but if you spend l uh, around a half hour or a little less uh, you will get a uh, a great result and uh, that's it